Oh, there we go. What's up, YouTube? I have a game I'm playing Rescue Cat. Uh, deck today against... Paps... Paps Card, whatever it is. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. Um, I don't think you'll find anything crazy innovative about my deck, but this hand's interesting. I got a lot of plays here. I think it's kind of... This could be a really good hand, could be a really bad hand, depending on what he has. I think setting Spy opens up my plays the most to a follow-up with the Cynics. I could potentially pop two cards. I could sack for Caius. I could set in Super Nimble, which sets up a Raikou next turn, obviously, depending on what he has. Uh, let me just hit him with that thing. Uh, if I set, I don't want, like setting Raikou turn one. Obviously, you get rid of their monster, but very much depending on what they have, a turn one Raikou could only hit, like, Sand can, you know, so I don't typically like to do that. I wait till they have some kind of back row and they invest to be able to set Rekko. So I think, I think setting Spy might be the best play, but I don't want to use Spy this early. So I think actually just setting the Super Nimble and then getting the Rekko next turn and setting up for Caius as well is probably my top play right now. So let's see what Pap's card has. Okay, so he's playing some kind of hero, probably Diva Hero and... You guys probably don't know this, but Zombie, obviously my favorite deck, but Cat Dex and Diva Hero. But he's actually playing probably Gemini Beat, which that's all, <laughs> that's all I've seen over the past couple of days. Another but some kind of uh, Gemini Beat type deck. We'll go ahead and declare. So this puts him in a super odd position of, um, how do I, special attack. This puts him in a really weird position of does he want to set back rows and do I want to actually flip Raikou on that back row. I imagine that back row is probably not going to be a super great card so I kind of want to save Raikou until I can hit something a little bit better but his oh, Gemini Spark is such a good card to be honest. Let's start turn and see where that puts me so <laughs> that's not super awesome. What is, so do I run a little bit heavier on the monster count? Maybe, but not like this. Um, I do want to flip Raikou and just hit something. So that way he can't Gemini Spark or whatever. And then I don't know if I even want to play into anything after that, to be honest. I think I want to save everything after that, but oh man. I am going to go ahead and flip. Hmm. Gemini Sark's such a good card. Go ahead and hit his back row. I don't think I have a reason not to. And we'll mill three. No one. No two. No three. And fortunately there's spy. Yes, yeah, so my hand's not super he can send back anything he wants. I kinda I kinda have plays no matter what, but this is just just a trash. I can't believe I drew like this. And now my Gorz is gone too. Which will and, and Pot of Avarice. At least I got the Dark So I think Chaos Sword's probably his play. I do want to summon Kaius just to get Stratos out of there so he can't reuse it ever again. Ascendant, Raikou, Susan. Okay, so he sends this back, so how do I put this top deck? And we'll just go ahead and get, get Stratos out of here. So obviously, he has a really good setup with a alias swing over this. And then if he has Gemini Spark, he can just use that over Caius and get that plus. So I'm definitely not in a good position right now. But I do have the Spy for the follow-up, which is pretty good for me. At least to be able to set it, he'll have to have some pretty dank cards on top of Alias Gemini Spark to get the best of me right now. Hmm... So that's interesting. 
Um, can't say I've ever seen a deck like this, but hey, Edison is here for innovation. Edison is here for innovation. So imagine a swing over Caius. I'll take four hundo. Let me make sure. Is this that targets a card? So any card doesn't have to be a plant. It can be literally any card that gets targeted. So even if I Boca Moon my own monster, interesting. Hmm. I think I do have to go Caius. It's an interesting situation. So I know he has Alias. I know he has Alias. He can just summon Alias, swing over Hamster. If I set Spy, Titanial swings over a Spy, and then I still have to, all I have to do is summon Caius anyway. So setting Spy doesn't, setting Spy effectively does nothing for me in this situation. It only makes me lose Spy the following turn. Compared to, if I just summon Caius, I'll still have the Spy, which, assuming he doesn't have... Um, Gemini Spark? Spy's really good. If he has Gemini Spark, he has Gemini Spark. I run 22 monsters, and I've seen just about every single one. So... Go ahead and target a Titanial, Hell Negate. Unfortunate that I lose a card for it, but that is exactly what happens when you draw every single monster in your deck. It didn't help that I drew all monsters and he did have the Trap Dust Shoot. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. That's Yu Gi Oh! Okay, there's the Alias, we'll take 19. Of course, <laughs> of course, Gores got sent too. So a Gores right now would have been really good, but that's fine. I could really go for a pot of avarice right now. Or do I have? Nope. Dark Arm would be a horrible draw. Hmm. Instant Fusion could be good. Um, it could be game breaking. I want to set Raikou and just start ripping out his back rows. I think my win condition is using Raikou, Gravekeeper, Spy, and Descendant. Just start destroying his back rows and set up a Summoner Monk Instant Fusion play. Into. Oh, is my Rescue Cat gone? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking I milled Rescue Cat and I actually got kind of. Not even kind of. I got very worried there for a second. And there it is. So I'm really far behind, but I think I can catch up. As long as I can get this Gravekeeper Spy Descendant. But if he, oh, if he gets another Dem Gemini Spark combo off. Prisma. What? You know what? I am just not sure what I'm looking at anymore. And what is this dude playing? Probably did. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Did he just have every single card in existence? It's unfortunate. This. I drew an all monster hand in. 
he drew whatever he's playing. I don't really understand what he's playing, to be honest, but... His Hero Blast is going to be powerful. Let's gain the game. Let's see if we can't bring something back. Uh, I don't think it'll happen, but let's see. I do run triple D prison. So 2400, 2500. So I have one turn to draw basically one of those D prisons. He does move Drill Warrior next turn. Uh, Instant Fusion is no longer alive, so I can't bring out, like, I can't go Summoner Monk into something Colossal Fighter. Oh, I forgot Mist for my extra. Mm, Summoner Monk. And to Air Bellum, uh, Rescue Cat, and a Mistworm would have been really good in this situation, I think. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did I just draw... I just effectively drew 13 monsters, if you include Instant Fusion being a monster. And I drew all three Gravekeeper Spies. <laughs> and my Descendant. So, postcard, or Paps, Paps card is, I don't know if he's much into uh, talking right now. But, let's go ahead, game two, let's see what we got. And this hand can get me there. Do I even want to set Gravekeeper Spy? I think I do. Set Spy, set MST, do I have a reason not set MST? If he, go, if he gets a turn one titanial, oh man, that he doesn't know it, but turn one titanial would be so good against me. But I presume he'll go for like a safe play, be it Stratos. He opened up with Stratos again, so he didn't have to work for it. And this is looking like a, you know, actually I didn't even look at what he just grabbed. I was looking away. What did he just grab? Alias Elemental Hero Stratos. Prisma. So you got a Prisma. I definitely have to, I kind of want to grab another spy, but I absolutely have to special summon the um, <coughs> Descendant here. To force him to either not play back row or react in back row, that I'm gonna hit with the MST. And I kinda wanna go into Urbellum next turn. Um, and we're gonna hit him with that MST. Let's see if he has Dust Shoot again. Oh my gosh! Okay. Well, let's see. Start turn, standby phase. Ooh, I could standby phase. I could standby phase spy, or book a moon on spy, flip spy, grab another spy. Hmm. Dang, I kind of want to keep my spy on the field. What can I do? What's Urbellum? Battle damage, I have four more cards. 
Battle damage will have four or more cards. I think I do want to do that. Just Urbellum, swing over, keep Descendant on the board. Next turn, that also sets me up for a Caius. So, we're going to go main phase. I'm going to set Pokemon. You normal summon here. Two grave. Two grave. Special summon her bell on. Hit for 400. Use her bellum to send that card back to the top of his deck. for 15 direct. Hopefully no gores. Main phase two. I'll set the Book of Moon. And here at least I have Tribute Fodder with Descendant next turn for Caius. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if Book of Moon Stops Prisma. I think it does, but I'll let him do whatever he's gonna do. Because uh, I imagine his deck's probably pretty normal summoner line, but if he has like quick draw or something, that would be that would be awful. Um, do I want? He has so he has four cards in hand. If he sets a back row, or Bellum's useless. Caius is great though. If he sets a back row, do I want a Book of Moon that? I think I do want a Book of Moon, and then the Senate swings over next turn. I can also sack the Senate for Kai's to destroy whatever that is. Do I want to risk that, or... I think I do want to risk that because I have the Cyber Dragon follow-up in case it's bottomless. Um, if it's Torrent, that's mad unfortunate. He gets a lot out of it. Actually. Hmm. It could be Mirror Force. If it's Mirror Force, I lose both my monsters. I'd want to switch Urbell into defense, but then this just runs over it next turn. If it's Book of Moon, which is more likely than Mirror Force, or Dimensional Prison. So the combination Book of Moon and Dimensional Prison is much more likely than Mirror Force. I want to keep them both here. If it's Torrent, I don't want to summon Caius. If it's anything but Torrent, I do want to summon Caius. Is it greedy to summon Caius right now? Or does it make sense thinking that could literally be any card in the game versus a Torrent? And it's much more likely that it's literally any card in the game versus Torrent. But if I if it is a Torrent, your boy kind of gets wrecked real hard. At least I have the Mirror Force to sit on. But that's a tough call. That's a tough call. I'm gonna risk that being literally any other card versus Torrential Tribute. And I'm gonna banish it. If it's Torrent, you got it. It was the Mirror Force. That's kind of what I was thinking. So let's go ahead. Urbellum. They have to have four cards. So we'll swing with Urbellum to destroy that. Uh, hit him for 24. Phase two will set our own mirror force. And just more he's more likely to play into this being a mirror force because he had his own mirror force. It's just what's on his mind. But that being said, that's fine. Oh, he quit. And he left. Completely. Okay, well I guess that is gonna be the game against Paps Card Uh Hero Plant Deck. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.